Okay, today I'm going to be putting Pop Rocks in the vacuum chamber. And then after I put it in the vacuum chamber, I'll be testing out the myth, if you eat Pop Rocks and drink soda, it'll cause your stomach to explode. Okay, so if you've never heard of Pop Rocks before, they're candy that's filled with pressurized CO2. And so here's what happens when you eat them. They explode in your mouth. So this has always been one of my favorite candies, so I decided it's about time to put it in the vacuum chamber and see if the little rocks explode while under vacuum. So normally you need water to dissolve the sugar a little bit until the rock gets weak enough so it explodes. So for comparison, we should first see what happens to pop rocks in normal atmospheric pressure when I pour water on them. So you can hear them bubbling, but you don't see any actual bubbles forming or anything. So not that violent of a reaction here. Okay, so I'm going to pour water on them while they're under vacuum. So the water dissolves it just a little bit, just like the spit in your mouth, and then the pressure that's in there causes it to explode. Okay, pop rocks and water in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Okay, so we're at half an atmosphere. Let's wait till it gets to full vacuum before I pour the water. So you can see the dissolved air coming out of the water already. After a little bit, it'll start to boil. Okay, so we're almost at full vacuum here. We're at about 0.1 atmospheres. Okay, our water's boiling. Let's go ahead and pour it on the Pop Rocks. Three, two, one. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so it definitely releases the CO2 faster. <laughs> so that's a lot of CO2 in the Pop Rocks. I want you to hear, you can hear through the vacuum walls the CO2 being released there. Okay, now I'm gonna test out the myth about eating Pop Rocks and drinking soda. So before I start the experiment, I have some awesome news that I wanna tell you about. For the last few months, I've been working with the company behind the Vsauce Curiosity Box. So I've been working with them to create my own Action Lab box. And what it's going to be, it's going to be a subscription box that you can order, and it has experiments that I've done on my channel, or that I will do in the future. So I'm really excited to launch this box, it's going to be awesome, especially with the team at Curational. If you haven't seen Vsauce's Curiosity box, it's going to be similar to that, but it's going to be experiment based. But before we launch the box in the next few months here, we need some feedback from you. So I'm going to include a link for a survey in my description. And I would love it if you could click on that link and answer a few questions that will help me build the box better fitted to what you really want. So please take the survey in there. It's only about 10 questions long. It takes about four or five minutes and it will help me immensely to customize this box to exactly what you guys want. And I'll keep you updated on the box. It'll be coming in the next few months and we're really excited about it. Now back to the experiment. So there's an urban legend that says the kid that used to be in the Life cereal commercials, Mickey, died from eating Pop Rocks and drinking soda. It caused his stomach to explode. Okay, so let's go ahead and try drinking soda and eating Pop Rocks. I don't know how this will go. I believe this used to be a challenge that people did on the internet. Here we go. Well, the hard part is, well, first of all, you can't even swallow the Pop Rocks without them dissolving first. I'm going to try to. Well, that's weird. <coughs> it's in my throat. I can feel it popping in my throat. So I'm trying to swallow them before they dissolve. <coughs> well, that's weird. <coughs> that's hard to do. Okay, so I've swallowed the whole bag drink some soda.
feel like I may have more burps than normal. <coughs> okay, so <coughs> I think overall I am getting a few more burps than normal, but other than that, my stomach doesn't feel like it's exploding at all. <laughs> okay, so after a few minutes, I do feel a little bloating in my stomach, but it's not that bad at all. Probably about the same I'd feel after I just guzzled a bunch of soda. So it turns out that I'm fine after eating the Pop Rocks and the soda. So this myth partly stems from the failed assumption that Pop Rocks explode because of an acid-base reaction similar to mixing vinegar and baking soda. But that's actually not why Pop Rocks explode. They explode because they're filled with tiny amounts of CO2 that are pressurized. So when they make these, they pressurize the liquid sugar but then the sugar hardens and it forms these tiny little CO2 bubbles that are trapped in solid sugar. But then as soon as you dissolve the sugar, those CO2 bubbles explode. So the manufacturers claim that a bag of Pop Rocks has about half as much CO2 as soda. So technically, you shouldn't be any worse off eating a bag of Pop Rocks than just drinking a bunch of soda. But this begs the question of what actually happens to the CO2 when you drink soda or eat Pop Rocks or something. Well, it kind of depends on how you drink the soda. So the truth is that most of the CO2 in soda is actually released before it even gets to your stomach. So if you sip the soda, most of the CO2 just comes out in your mouth and when it's in your throat. But if you really guzzle the soda, then it doesn't have enough time to release the CO2 and so it gets into your stomach. And still then, most of it is released out of your mouth through belching, burping. But from there, once the CO2 in the soda is in your stomach, if it's not releasing it through burping, and your stomach digests it and starts pushing it down into your intestines, then from there, it can cause flatulence. And flatulence is the professional word for farting. So if you guzzle your soda, it could cause you to fart more. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it and you're not subscribed yet, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video comes out and leave me any comments or questions that you have in the comments section. I'll try to get to them. Thanks for watching again and I'll see you next time.